Hello and welcome to Rapid Fire Friday, the weekly Dynamic Signal blog series where we put one member of the Die Side team in the hot seat and they get 15 seconds to answer five questions about themselves and you get a peek at the people behind the brand. And we are back. We took a little break and now we're here to reintroduce you to the very quickly growing Dynamic Signal team. And today I have Meredith Gattery. Hello everyone. Meredith is our Senior Manager of Account-Based Marketing and you can learn more about her role and what she does at Dynamic Signal in the blog post. But we're going to get right to these questions and learn a little bit more about you. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. We've got 15 seconds on the clock. All right. Ready? Yes. Favorite book? Uh, uh, the Golden Compass. Any pets? I have a turtle named Sheldon. Hardest job you've ever had? Uh, doing this interview. <laughs> Free time hobby. <laughs> um, cooking. Uh, 2019 goal. Make it to 2020. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. You did it. Okay. This is not that hard. Give me a break. No, my hardest job I've ever had is I did Teach for America um, after graduating from college. Um, and I taught ninth grade special education, biology, and algebra one. That is hard. Yes. Rewarding and amazing. Yeah, I actually love, love, love my students, and I'm still in touch with many of them. Um, one of them actually came and spent Thanksgiving with me this year because he's oh, on the West Coast. I'm from that. the East Coast. Um, and so I'm really close to a lot of them, but just the amount of politics that were, that were in school was a little bit too much for me. Tough. So yeah. instead the world of sass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No politics here, folks. <laughs> no day of stress has ever equated to any day that I did when I was teaching. Mm. Um, okay, your hobby? Yes, I like to cook. Um, I actually started cooking because my job after Teach for America, I moved to Chicago and I knew no one in the state of Illinois. Um, and so I used to bribe people to be my friend by making them meals every single Monday night. Okay, well, I can tell you that I would be your friend just based on your food because Meredith bakes a cake for everyone in the marketing team on their <laughs> birthday and like customizes it to personality and dietary restrictions, of which we have many. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and literally the most amazing vegan chocolate cake I've ever had in my life. It you, was it was pretty good. It was from Food 52 if anyone is looking for the recipe. Shout out to Food 52 <laughs> and their vegan chocolate cake made with avocados, which just basically means it's healthy. Yeah, of course. The more chocolate you add to something, the healthier it becomes. I mean, it's antioxidants. Avocados are really good for you. You you know all of the nutrition. It's basically <laughs> a breakfast food that we should have more often. I think that you should eat cake for breakfast. I mean, it's pretty much you eat pancakes, you eat waffles. Why not eat cake? Maybe that should actually be like your 2019 goal, rather to than just get to 2020. How about just like eat more cake for breakfast? I think I feel like those are <laughs> those are contradictory goals. <laughs> <laughs> Eating cake for breakfast every morning and making it to 2020. Yeah, fair, but fair. Um, well, thank you for joining us today. Of course. You are a lovely, amazing, well-loved member of the marketing team, and I'm excited we get to feature you on Rapid Fire Friday. Yeah, I'm super excited to be part of Rapid Fire Friday. So you'll hear more about Meredith in the blog if you click here, and we hope you have a wonderful Friday. You too. Bye.